Hello everyone, my name is B Dan, and in this episode, we will learn everything about brewing. This is my Minecraft Tips Episode 2 video, so I hope you all enjoy. In this chest right here, I have a few crafting recipes for brewing stand and some essential items that you will need when brewing. In order to make a brewing stand, you need a blaze rod above three cobblestone. In order to get that blaze rod, you need to go to the nether and kill a blaze. To make glass bottles, cook some sand in a furnace and then put them in a V shape in the crafting table. Three pieces of glass gives you three glass bottles. Redstone and glowstone, pretty easy to get. In the nether, glowstone is a little hard to reach, but if you have a lot of blocks with you, you can easily climb up to it. And then redstone found everywhere if you go mining. Gold ingots, if you put it into a crafting table, give you gold nuggets, which are only used in brewing when you make a glistering melon or a golden carrot. Lastly, you will need gunpowder in order to make splash potions, and the easiest way to get gunpowder is to kill creepers. Now that we have those parts known about how to craft, I'll come to this chest where we will learn how to craft a few items where you will be putting into the brewing stand. The glistering melon is made by putting a melon surrounded by the gold ingots, and the gold carrot is done the same with a carrot instead of a melon. This fermented spider eye is made with a mushroom, spider eye, and sugar. That makes the fermented spider eye. In order to get blaze powder for the strength potion, you need a blaze rod, put it in there, and it will give you two blaze powders. And then, of course, sugar canes give you sugar. Alrighty, now that we have everything crafted, before we start brewing, we need to go over nether warts. Nether warts are found in the nether in the fortress. And the fortress is just found by exploring the nether. Usually you'll come down a sort of path in a fortress, which is kind of like a little castle. And in a few parts, there will be nether warts hidden throughout. They're usually on either side of a walkway that climbs up into another room. Once you've found some nether warts, make a farm by growing them on soul sand. And as you see, it had been fully um, not fully, newly planted, and it just grew up a little bit, but it's not done growing. It will be about as tall as this chest when it is fully done growing. So once you get a fully grown nether wart, break it, and it will give you one to four nether warts in return. So make a farm out of them because they are the base for every potion. All of these brewing stands are filled with the base potion, which is the awkward potion Awkward Potion has no effects, as you see right there, and that is just the base for almost all of the potions, because you can't just make a potion by putting an item in. It will usually just make a thing that, the potion that doesn't have any purpose, but you can make every potion with nether warts, put it in the brewing stand, put the water bottles in, and these bubbles will go up, as you'll see in a moment when we start brewing all of the potions. So, the nether wart is essential in brewing. Make sure to get them because you can't brew without them. Alrighty, so now we will make all of the positive potions, and then over here we have the negative potions. What I mean by positive and negative are all of these potions help players, and these ones here can damage players. So, speed potion is made with one sugar. Put it in after you have the awkward potion, and it will start to brew. Next up is the Strength Potion with a Blaze Powder. Ooh, excuse me. Put it into the bla Brewing Stand and it will start to make the Strength Potion. Potion of Invisibility is made with two items. You need a Golden Carrot and a Fermented Spider Eye. Before I make that though, let's show you how to make Night Vision because Night Vision is made with only the Golden Carrot. So when you're making an Invisible Potion, you actually make the night vision and then after you've made the night vision potion put a fermented spider eye into the brewing stand and that will make potion of invisibility while these are brewing I'll go over the rest of the potions and then I will place this spider eye into this to make the invisibility potion potion of instant health is made with a glistering melon place it in and that makes the instant health potion 
potion of water breathing is used with a puffer fish. In order to get a puffer fish, you need to fish with a fishing rod, and you might get lucky and catch a puffer fish instead of a regular fish, salmon, or clownfish, or a junk item or a treasure item. That's how you get the puffer fish, and it gives you water breathing. Potion of fire resistance is made with magma cream. You get magma cream by killing magma cubes, which are in the nether. They are kind of hard to find, but usually when there are is a lot of lava close to the bottom of the nether, I find them around there most of the time, but they are kind of hard to find because they don't always spawn everywhere. Last potion that will help us is the regeneration potion. To make that, you use a ghast tier, which you get from killing a ghast. If you don't know what a ghast is, a ghast is basically a big jellyfish in the nether that shoots fireballs at you. When you kill it, it will drop possibly some gunpowder and most of the time a ghast tier. Alright, all these potions are done brewing with the exception of the invisibility potion which just finished brewing. Now let's go over to the negative potions. To make potion of poison, get a spider eye from killing a spider or a cave spider and drop it into your awkward potions in the brewing stand. We have potion of instant damage which requires two items which is the spider eye which makes poison and then you add the fermented spider eye into it to make instant damage just like the invisibility. You make one potion and you can change that potion into a different potion. Potion of slowness is made with potion of speed and then adding in a fermented spider eye. Think about a fermented spider eye as countering what the material is. To make potion of weakness you can add a fermented spider eye in or you can just put a ferment or excuse me the two ways to make weakness I got a little confused there are just put in a fermented spider eye and that will make weakness by itself the way that is wasteful to make a potion of weakness is to add it into potion of strength. It counters the strength and makes it weakness, but don't do that. Don't waste the blaze powder. Just put it into the nether, the awkward potion from the nether warts, and that will make potion of weakness. All right, instant damage is done, and those are all of the potions that we have made except for slowness where you make speed and then the fermented spider eye counters it and makes slowness. In here I've showed you everything, I've showed you everything in there. These chests just have water bottles and some empty bottles and then there's the nether warts growing there. But you may be wondering why is there redstone, glowstone, gunpowder, and this? Well redstone is used in all the potions if you want to make it last longer. By doing that, after you have brewed a potion, I'll go down to speed, put it redstone in, and that will make it speed 8 minutes. So, 20% speed applied to the speed potion, and it's 3 minutes long. When you put the redstone in, it makes it 8 minutes long. You can do that to any potion that has a time limit. The potions that you can't use redstone on are instant health and instant damage. I believe that is the those are the only potions you can't use it on yes that's it alright and that is what glowstone is for so redstone increases the time of the potion as you see here now it's eight minutes glowstone makes the potion double so you can't use it for all of them but glowstone is essential in instant damage or instant health if I put the glowstone into instant damage you'll notice when it is done brewing it will make it instant damage too so that will make it more damaging instead of doing maybe only two hearts of damage it would do three and a half excuse me I'm not exactly sure how much instant damage does especially if you have armor or not but as you see instant damage just turned into instant damage too you can add glowstone to any of the potions but I do not know if you can do weakness or slowness too. I think it's just slowness and weakness, but you can do poison too, but it doesn't last as long. Instant damage too. You can do speed too, strength too, instant health too, and regeneration too. I forgot to say I was incorrect about what I said about adding glowstone to any of them. You can't add glowstone to water breathing or fire resistance, it's just redstone added to them 
to make them better. You also cannot add redstone to the to the instant damage. It doesn't make it last longer because it's instant. Instant health and instant damage. And then the glowstone is added to all of the most of them. Speed, strength, in yeah, speed, strength, regeneration, instant health, and instant damage. Alright, so those are what redstone and glowstone do. Gunpowder is used for all of the potions and it changes it from a regular potion to a splash potion. This is a splash potion of instant har damage too, also called harming. And as you see, if I throw it, it disappears. It's th splashing potion, a splash potion is just a potion that you use to throw. So you can add it to any of them. If say you are you know, PvP, and instead of taking time to drink instant health, you can just have a splash potion, throw it straight down or a little in front of you, and it will give you the cause of the potion. Same thing applies to, say, fire resistance. Say you're mining in the nether, getting nether quartz and glowstone. And say you fall into lava, but you don't have full hearts, so you can't drink fire resistance. You can just throw fire resistance on the ground, and if there are blocks close to you and you hit the block, it will give you the potion, but the downside is it is two minutes less for all of them. So if I were to have speed eight minutes, just like this one, and then add the gunpowder, it makes it six minutes long, I believe. It also it decreases the amount of time, and but it, excuse me, I completely just went blank, my apologies. Redstone makes it last longer. Glowstone makes it double and pretty much just makes it more powerful and then gunpowder makes it a splash potion but it decreases the time a little bit. You can't add redstone and then glowstone to make it last longer and be double, it just one serves for the other. But the glowstone makes it, the gunpowder makes it a splash potion. The only other thing I'd like to say is in the description of this video, I will have a link to one of my older videos where I show you all how to make an auto brewer. These brewers is just a regular old brewer, but I have a pretty cool concept of how to make an auto brewer where it makes everything for you and it's pretty easy and very efficient. So that is all for today everyone. I hope that this video helped you out and that it was entertaining. I have these potions. I'm gonna throw them out as I end this episode. Alrighty, thank you for watching y'all, and I'll see you all next time.